Now, I'm going to mainly talk about kids and adolescents today, but I just want everyone to be aware that this is not a problem that goes away. All right, you grow with fetal alcohol syndrome, you grow into your adult uh, years with it, it doesn't go away. Your facial appearances may change. It's much harder to diagnose in an adult than it is in a child, but uh, you still have all the behavioral underlying behavioral problems. We also know that that face has something to do with the brain. Uh, doing some imaging studies in animals these days, uh, these are mouse brains, and just to show you that if you produce the face of fetal alcohol syndrome, you change the brain. This is a, an animal with an intermediate facial characteristic, this is one with full characteristics, and this is a brain scan just showing overall volumes, and I think you can see the reduction, particularly in the frontal lobes. Uh, as the facial characteristics become more prominent, the changes in the brain become more prominent. One thing that needs to be uh, clearly stated is that there's a range of effects and a range of outcomes. These are inbred mice, so they're all genetically, uh, isogenetic. You give them a look at day 11, this is a normal. These <coughs> animals were exposed to the same dose of alcohol at exactly the same time during gestation. Yet you see an animal here that's not very affected down to one who's extremely effective. And again, you notice that a lot of the, the deficits that you see are along the, uh, the mid-lines. Right. Now, how common is this? There's no doubt that in the, in the last uh, decade or so, the rate of alcohol used by pregnant women has declined. But the problem is that the rates of frequent and binge drinking have remained pretty constant over that time. So people are aware of fetal alcohol, but it doesn't appear to be having much impact on the women who were the heaviest users and most at risk. So it's estimated by the CDC that more than 130,000 women are drinking at risky levels. Um, one in 30 women who know they're pregnant reports risky drinking. One in seven women of childbearing age uh, engage in risky drinking, and I think this is important because exactly when you start producing these effects from prenatal alcohol exposure, some of these effects probably occur uh, before the woman uh, even realizes. Now, it's often said FAS is the leading known cause of mental retardation in the Western world. The majority of these kids, however, are not retarded. Their average IQ of kids with FAS is in the low 70s. So they don't qualify for services based upon an IQ of 70. The average IQ of the non dysmorphic kids are in the low 80s. And here you see the problem with testing too many Mormons. All right, the IQ should be around 100 higher. All right, All right. Uh, some neuropsych tests. The Boston naming test. You show it to the kid. Hopefully, he says Ben. Peabody picture vocabulary test. You say furry, and hopefully, the kid points to the cat. Kids with fetal alcohol syndrome do not do as well as controls on that. The interesting thing to me, though, is the non-dysmorphic kids and the kids with FAS are identical. They don't differ. Corpus callosum, this was the structure that got us uh, started on all this in the first place. Nice, normal, mid scan of a 14-year-old uh, boy. This was the first child we ever scanned with fetal alcohol syndrome. You notice the corpus callosum is thin, particularly back here back part. Notice that that child here doesn't have much of the nine-year-old girl who we scanned. She has a genesis of the corpus That's just a hole the size of my fist in her head, brain. Now these were the first kids we scanned, and so uh, we scanned the most dysmorphic kids we had to start with the seed if we were going to see anything or not. You see a genesis of the corpus callosum. Um, Jim Hansen's group, they scanned nine dysmorphic kids. They found three cases of complete agenesis, three other cases of partial agenesis in those nine kids. Again, these were very dysmorphic children, though. It's still very rare. 